Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing our update for Project Pan. We're going into fourth quarter, so I wanted to go over the past three months on three, six, nine, twelve. Yeah, three months. Can I divide twelve into four? Apparently, I can. We're going over all the products that I've set aside for Project Pan, things that I want to use up over the course of the year. It is a rolling Project Pan, so I have been adding few things along the way if you want to check out my series this year. This is the third installment. So if you like Project Pans, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up so I know to maybe do this in 2022 as well. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I would love for you to join the family here by hitting the red subscribe button, the bell if you want to be notified of all my future videos. And let's go ahead and begin this Project Pan update. We did use up a product in its entirety the past few months, and this is my favorite foundation of all time. It's the Too Faced Born This Way Matte 24 Hour Foundation. Use the shade Golden. It's the best match out there for my skin tone. And I threw this in to Project Pan because I knew this would be more of an easier option for me to use up. I would enjoy using it up. And I actually haven't repurchased it yet because it made me go into my collection and play around with other products that I hadn't used for a while. And I've been loving other foundations too. So it's one of those things that as much as I love this foundation and I can see in the future, I'll definitely pick it up because it's a favorite of mine. There's other ones out there that I've really been loving too. <laughs> I really enjoyed Project Pan, honestly, just for things like that. I always thought I needed certain products, but really I don't. I can make other things work too. And then I also have this NYX Marshmallow Primer. And it's hard to tell kind of where this is in its stage of life. And I'm pretty sure I have like that much left. Really don't have that much left in this. I've been using it all the time. I love this primer. Again, this is one that I would purchase again in the future. But honestly, when I use up products, I just have been going to my collection and pulling out more things to try and use up. I have a really good empties video coming up too. I've been using up a ton of stuff there. So still using products up that aren't necessarily in my project pan. It's just made me more mindful of all the products I have and it's just been such a great experience. I know what I should be adding in these and what I shouldn't, which you will see coming up. And then update on Give Me Sun. I literally use this every day from MAC. I'm wearing it today. I still have not hit pan on this. It just keeps going and going. It's like the product that never ends. And that's truly the thing for powders. You really don't need that many powders, <laughs> quite frankly, because they last forever. This is one of those products I was so happy that I put into my project pan because I genuinely enjoy this bronzer. If I had to pick one bronzer for the rest of my life, it would be this one. And it just always holds up for me, easy to blend on the skin, but I have not hit pan on it. I literally do not understand <laughs> how I have not hit pan on that bronzer. These KKW concealers I put into here before she was rebranding. So these were one of those things that was my favorite concealer of all time. And I have no idea whether the formula is gonna be the same. So I'm actually going to be pulling out two of these concealers because I don't really want to use them up right now until I see the formula that she comes out with for rebranding. I did use up number five though. So we did use up a concealer, but for that reason, because this formula does not exist anymore, I'm taking it out of Project Pan. I don't want to use it up right now. I guess I probably should add another concealer in. Hold please, I haven't thought this through. <laughs> I decided to put in my Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I thought this would be a good option to replace the concealer since I did use up the foundation too. I think that's a good option, right? And this thing will take you forever to get through. I'm actually using this concealer today. I use the shade Warm Beige, which isn't too brightening. It's more like my natural skin tone, slightly lighter, but this is a really good concealer one I can rely on and one that I feel really good about putting into Project Pan and would be pretty cool if I could use this big guy up because that's a big concealer. So we're gonna add that in to Project Pan and the KKW concealers are going out for the time being. I also put in two cream products. One's more of a bronze and this is more of a contour. Looking back on it now, I probably should have just focused on one because it's just hard to use up two 
similar cream products. <laughs> Moving on for my next project pan, I probably won't do that for next year, but this is the Fenty Cream Bronzer in Teddy. I'm wearing this today also. I hit pan on this and honestly, if I really made it a point, I could use this up quite fast, but I just wasn't using cream products as much as I thought in the summer. I was just reaching for more powders. Creams, I feel like maybe I'd actually use more so in the winter just because I'm more dry. So hoping to use this up this fourth quarter. I also put in this Huda Beauty Tantour in Fair. And for the reason I mentioned that I just wanna focus on one, I think I'm gonna be removing this from Project Pan just so that I can really hone down on that Fenty Cream Bronzer, you know? Doesn't make sense for me to keep that in. I think because of how much I was using creams and how much easier they were to use up than powders, I thought I could do a good job on that, but hindsight's 2020, right? So I'm gonna be taking that out too. And then I put in this Fenty Beauty powder. This is the Invisimet Blotting Powder. And I thought this would be a good option to use up because it was really close to being done. Heavy pan on this. Use this today, really like it. I kind of was neglecting this though because I was using more of tinted powders this past few months. That's something that I really noticed I was gravitating towards instead of translucent powders. This I feel like I could probably use up this quarter too. So these two Fenty products, honestly, I really want to use these up. So this is going to be my main focus moving forward because I think I can actually do that and I really wanna have a couple empties next time around. And then I had this La Mer foundation I really wanted to use up and I definitely can use this up. I literally have only a few uses left, but it just didn't match my skin tone. Over the course of the summer, I feel like, again, I can use this up because we're going into the cooler months. I'm gonna lose my color and that will be easy to do. So finally, I'll be able to use that product. I love that foundation. It is so good. Definitely a splurge if you're gonna buy it, but it is beautiful. It's long wearing, gives good coverage, just looks impeccable on the skin, and I'll enjoy using that up. And then I have my Urban Decay Brow Blades in here that I wanted to include because I was using my NYX one, and I use that most days. Honestly, you'll see in my videos, this keeps popping off. <laughs> just did it in my hand and it's getting everywhere. I love Brow Blade as you guys know, but I discovered the next one, which is more affordable. And I just put these colors in to use them up, which I feel like I'm gonna get better use out of them once I lighten my hair, these lighter colors, but I did use up Blackout. There's still a little bit of the marker left, even though it keeps popping off the lid for that. It's so annoying, but I used up the pencil in its entirety and often I like using this tip for my wing liner because it's waterproof and it's just really subtle. I'm still gonna keep using this for that reason, but it's pretty much used up for a brow product, honestly, for me. I tried to put a few strokes <laughs> through my brows for this video because I have been using my next one, but as soon as the pencil's gone, it loses its convenience and I'd rather just reach for my next products, if that makes any sense. But these two products should be good to go though when I lighten my hair in October. So I'm hoping to finish these up because they're pretty close to being done, honestly, but I just didn't use them because they didn't match my hair. Now onto the three non-makeup items. We have two hair, one body. I'm gonna save the body for last. <laughs> you guys have been following this series because you'll know why. And I honestly haven't really been using the Beyond the Zone flipped out hairspray. This is just too much volume for me. I just don't use it in my hair and it, leaves it so crunchy. I don't know why I included this as well because it's just not the look I go for anymore. It's so old, that's why I wanted to use it up, but quite frankly, that was a mistake on my part. I'm honestly just not gonna include that anymore. It doesn't make sense for me to force myself to use some things I don't like. I'm gonna be better about the products I put in here. This was my first time, so I had high hopes and I was very eager for some of these products because they were old or whatever reason they were but I really need to put things I like <laughs> in here that I wanna use up so that it's easy to use it up, you know? And then I have another hair product, which I absolutely love. Putting this in here because I forgot about it and I just wanted to use it up again because it was old, I actually fell in love with this product. <laughs> it's the Orbe Maximista Thickening Spray. I'm down to here. I use this every single time I blow dry my hair 
and it does provide really nice volume to my hair without leaving it crunchy or any kind of weird texture in my hair. I do have some Orbe and other texturizing sprays. This isn't one of them, it just gives more body to the strands. It's a really, really nice product before you're blow drying your hair. And then my final product, you guys. <laughs> oh boy. We had some words about this last time. It's the Bondi Sands Everyday Gradual Tanning Milk. The thought of tanning every day, like every day gradually building it up, just sounds like my own personal hell, <laughs> to be quite honest. I don't enjoy the smell of tanner. I don't enjoy the process of putting it on. Including tanner in my video was also something that I shouldn't have done because I just don't enjoy it, <laughs> you know? But this one I hear is really good. I'm taking this one out too because I said last time if I hadn't used it, that was the last straw. It was going out of my video and it's officially out. If I'm ever going to be tanning, I just want to do it once, be done with it. I don't want to be using something that I don't like the smell of to gradually build up my tan, if that makes sense. Again, a lot of people love that. It's just the whole process for me of tanning. It's not the product, it's just the process. And that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Did use up some stuff, have things I'm taking out and putting in. So we're gonna finish off the year strong, I feel, by making these changes to my project pan. Let me know if you guys are on a project pan yourself. I'd love to know if there's any products you used up. Definitely super hard to use up powders. Moving forward, I'm only gonna put things that I really like in here because that's a big lesson I learned as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for spending some time with me today for clicking on this video. If you have not subscribed already, I would love for you to do so by hitting the red subscribe button, the bell if you wanna be notified of all my future videos. And I'll see you guys in my next one.